You know, if you look at the support that the University of Nebraska football program receives the volleyball game that happened a few days ago, which was the single most attended women's sporting event ever, you've got to wonder and ask yourself, could Nebraska support a pro sports team, whether it's NHL, MLB, NBA, or NFL. And I'm going to give my take on if I think Nebraska has the population and has the TV market that could support a pro sports team. Now, I think we all know the answer. Technically, yeah, Nebraska could support one, but would any of these sports, based off of what we've seen in past years, would anyone award a smaller populated area like Nebraska a pro sports team? Let's dive into it and take a look at their big population centers, Omaha and Lincoln. And the good news here is both of these are within an hour of each other. Now, Lincoln, they've got Nebraska football. You probably wouldn't be putting any type of team in that city. It most certainly would go to Omaha, which has a population just under half a million. You compare that to some of the other small market teams, like take, for example, Buffalo, New York. You see it's almost double Buffalo, although I will say if Buffalo, New York, didn't have an NFL team and they were trying to get an expansion team, would the NFL be interested in Buffalo in this day and age? The answer is no. So I understand we do live in a different time, but I'm just saying in comparison, when you're talking about population density in Nebraska, they've got two big population centers that total well over 700,000 total people located within an hour of each other. So I think you could make the argument whether it's, it gets a little bit weird when it comes to sports because it's like, Nebraska, obviously football with with the university, but would they really welcome an NFL team? It's kind of like the argument, does Columbus, Ohio, you know, deserve an NFL team when they've already got Ohio State as the number one attraction? I think you could make the argument for it and, and that it would be a very good football town, NFL town being Omaha. You'd get a lot of the Nebraska people up there. You would sell out every single game. And it just depends if they got a pro sports team. I do think they really would embrace it. Unfortunately, in this day and age, there's no way the NFL is going smaller market. If the NFL is considering expansion, it's probably giving Toronto, Canada a team, which would, you know, bring in a whole nother country. And then also you're possibly looking at an even higher populated area like Austin, Texas, that has a lot more higher populated suburban areas as well. But I do think when you look at Omaha... In, in a potential scenario, based on how much Nebraska supports the Cornhuskers and the population density of both Lincoln and Omaha, it, it seems very doable, honestly, for a professional sports team now. An NBA team in Nebraska, it just doesn't seem like it fits to me, although you could say Oklahoma City Thunder being in Oklahoma, does that really fit either? I, I mean, it could work, but I'm just not sure if there's much of a demand for NBA basketball in that part of America, and then you've also got NHL. I really don't think NHL would work. To me, when it comes to Nebraska, I would rather like to see an NFL team in Nebraska or an MLB team, and I actually made an expansion franchise one time. It was a hypothetical thing on Out of the Park Baseball maybe when I was a little bit younger, and it, I made an M MLB expansion team called the Nebraska Thunder. I think that's such a good name. I guess you could say it's a ripoff of the OKC Thunder, but it's just a sweet name for a baseball team, and it was located in Omaha, Nebraska. And when it comes to MLB, there's a lot more home games. I, I do think they do have the population that would be able to support a team, although outside of Lincoln, there's really no highly populated suburban area, so that's where it becomes tough when it comes to MLB, but I do think when you look at other smaller markets and other population centers, it is comparable and it is doable. Now, why would the MLB not be interested in Nebraska? Well, it's got a smaller TV market, and in comparison to some other cities' growth rates, it's just not there. It's not growing at the same rate that some of the other potential expansion MLB cities are. The other thing you could say, this is either a negative or a positive. There's no current pro sports team in Omaha or in any part of Nebraska. So you could take that as a positive and say that creates a ton of demand and there's no supply. So if you put a team there, they would sell it out every single game or they'd at least have a, have a higher attendance considering what we've seen with Nebraska football. 
football, but it is also important to note college football is a lot different from the NFL just in terms of, you know, the whole vibe the Corn Huskers, Nebraska being their team, but I do think if they put an uh, NFL team in Omaha, they would certainly sell out every game. It would be kind of like a better version of what's gone on with the Buffalo Bills. Although I, Buffalo fans are really good, I, I agree, but I do think Nebraska might even be better in terms of their fan base, just what we've seen from college football. They've got a streak right now, right around 389 games. Uh, that's a sellout streak that they've had going, which is pretty remarkable considering how bad their football team has been. And it's not just the context of the sellout streak. Their stadium seats like 90,000 people. And they're on the verge of announcing a major renovation to their stadium. I don't know if they're going to try and bump up the capacity. I doubt that they will, considering during the sellout streak. And this is what you'll get a lot of times with the sellout streak to where they manipulate it. And you'll get like rich people buying multiple tickets. The Red Sox did this when they beat the Indians in their sellout streak. We also saw the San Francisco Giants do something like this when they had a sellout streak at AT AT&T Park. That's what it used to be called. Uh, And it seems like Nebraska is getting accused of doing this, which makes complete sense. I mean, their team, they've had a lot of years where they haven't even made a bowl game. So it's, it's very hard to pack 90K into a stadium and sell out every game. I remember Ohio State didn't even sell out one of their games a few years ago against Tulsa. And Ohio State's like a top 10 team every single year. So it just goes to show you the fan base in Nebraska and the hunger for football. I do think you could translate it to baseball. And when it comes to the climate, certainly you could do an open stadium. I mean, now, right now, Nebraska has experienced some pretty crazy heat. It's a little bit different this year with the heat dome located over the Midwest. But overall, you will get the very nice nights during the day. It's normally not too hot. It's not like a Texas thing where they legitimately can't play day games during the summer because of how hot and humid it is where it's like 95, 98. That's why all the Texas teams have retractable roofs and they're only open about 10% of the time. But I do think Nebraska would be a good fit for an MLB expansion team or an NFL expansion team. NBA, I'm just not sure if the demand is there, but certainly, I mean, an NBA arena seating 18K, they would sell that out for sure. And then you're also talking about NHL. I really just haven't heard anything on Nebraska and NHL when it comes to that. There was the idea idea that maybe Kansas City, Missouri could get the Arizona Coyotes, which are uh, a team that was possibly going to be relocating, but now it looks like they're staying in Arizona, possibly deciding between what city there, although I, I don't know. I don't think that's totally confirmed, but when you look at the population density, especially with it being concealed, as it only takes you an hour to drive from Lincoln to Omaha, you put a team in Omaha, you get a potential population center of well over half a million there. The argument that you could make against that is when it comes to those suburbs surrounding Omaha, they're just completely non-existent. And that's the whole idea. Nebraska is a very flat plain area with a lot of corn, a lot of agriculture and farms. That is the issue. Normally when we're talking about putting a professional sports team in a city, you want suburbs surrounding it that all have population centers of like 70, 80K at least, five or six of them. If you get that, then you're talking. And unfortunately, that's Nebraska's fatal flaw. They really don't have that. They've just got two bigger cities with very small, uh, you know, suburban areas surrounding that, but they just don't make up enough in terms of population, at least to this point, to really attract a team. And unfortunately, the other problem is Nebraska really, they're in no... I haven't heard anything in terms of them getting any type of expansion team in any league. This is just something I wanted to do because, I mean, they seem to support really, really well when it comes to Nebraska football and also volleyball. Apparently, volleyball is extremely big in the state of Nebraska, so I wanted to make this video. And you think about it, it's like, I mean, if they're going to sell out 90,000 tickets for Nebraska football when they're like 4-7... and seven, You know, you would think that a pro team would probably have some pretty good luck, even if it's located in Omaha, which it would have to be. I mean, Lincoln is a college town. You just wouldn't put a pro sports team there. The other thing you could make an argument for that's in favor of Nebraska possibly having the population is the surrounding states like Iowa, who, you know, a lot of those fans, considering where Omaha is, it's right on the border of Nebraska and Iowa. 
that a lot of those Iowa fans would probably become fans of whatever that Nebraska pro sports team is, depending on the sport. And then you also do have Missouri, who's not too far away as well. So they could possibly pluck some of the fans from there as well uh, to really help them in terms of possibly getting a team. So I guess that's another argument you can make, and that is just based off the fact that Omaha is so far to the east within Nebraska. But either way, guys, that is going to do it for this video. Make sure you're following me on X. Link to that's always in the description.